Good evening, everyone. I am delighted to be able to announce that the Australian Geographic Young Conservation of the Year for 2018 is Sophia Scarparis. Please welcome Sophia to the stage to accept her award. We must appreciate our planet and what it has to offer. The world we live in cannot be replicated or tamed. It is a wild place where beauty takes time to form, in most cases, thousands of years, and without it, we are nothing. Year after year, we hear increasing reports of human-wildlife conflict, how little time we have, been, how little time, uh, we have before it's too late to counter the impact of climate change, and how we can no longer sacrifice sustainability in development. The idea that these are the next generation's problems is not a view that we can accept. I know that here in Australia you have uh, particular challenges, such as coral bleaching on your magnificent Great Barrier Reef, recurring drought and ever-increasing bushfires. It is absolutely heartbreaking to see your natural treasures being changed forever. I was amazed to see that Australia supports uh, up to 700,000 native species, a high proportion of which are found nowhere else on earth. So as Australians, the excellent work that you are doing to preserve your native biodiversity is really important, not just for your own benefit, but for the whole planet. But I am confident that positive and permanent change is on the horizon. Young people now innately understand far better than previous generations that we simply cannot continue to destroy our natural world without facing major irreversible consequences. We cannot continue to pollute the oceans with plastics and other wastes. We cannot continue to breathe polluted air while cutting down our forests or without reducing emissions. We cannot stand by and let our wildlife disappear from the earth and our fish from the seas. In closing, I think we can agree tonight that there cannot be any more excuses. Thanks to the tireless efforts of everyone in this room and the environmentalists and conservationists of the past, we are ready to translate our awareness into action. It is going to take every single one of us to stop the clock on the destruction of our planet, and time is not on our side. The standard we walk past is the standard we accept. It's time to take personal responsibility and realize what a privilege it is for us to live alongside nature. I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and to the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong.